the topics that we've dealt with up to this point have involved finding the price of a bond. Now, in fact, frequently we know the price of a bond. The bond is being traded in a market in which we can observe the price. Um, and so in, in that instance, uh, it might be of greater interest to us in some cases to be able to back into what the uh, yield of maturity is on the bond. In other words, what is it that the, that the bond's actually paying? So if we know the, 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 the par value of the bond and we know the price of the bond, we know the pay payment terms, the interest rates, that, the interest payments that have been promised, we really only have one unknown, and that unknown is this yield to maturity. So we, in essence, can uh, use, if we know the price, we know all the contract terms for the bond, what we have to solve for in that case is the yield. Now, solving for the yield of maturity in many cases isn't, uh, it's, you can't use a formula for it very easily. Um, so there is, uh, it, we, we can appeal to the, the various uh, uh, valuation or, or the, the bond uh, annuity tables, so we can appeal to the annuity tables, but it's a rather complex process. For right now, we're just going to step away from this. We're going to return to this topic at a later time, and we're going to use some other tools. In, in particular, we're going to use Excel uh, to uh, value or define the yield of maturity on a particular bond. Uh, we will do that at a later point in time.